Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Dirgefang, and today I'll be showing you how to install the Linux operating system, Linux Mint. Now, there are two desktop layouts for this operating system. This is the Mate desktop environment, I believe, and there's another one called Cinnamon. I'll either show the Cinnamon layout either in this tutorial or in my next one, but let's get started with this. In order to start installation, you just double-click the Install Linux Mint disk icon over here. Oh, side note, this is pretty much, instead of like going right to the install, such as this, it'll actually bring you right to the, uh, just this little page right here. Pretty much the first thing you saw when I started up the video. But yeah, just double click that. You want to install in English. This is a requirement page. You have to have at least 5.9 gigs available on your disk drive, and I'm connected to the internet. I would like to erase and install Linux Mint, but you could also uh, partition your drives and install um, Linux Mint alongside your current operating system. But since I'm on a virtual machine, I'll just erase disk. This is just a confirmation page, and I would like to install. You can see some background action right here. And this is just a time zone. I'll leave that as default. This is my keyboard layout. Again, I'll leave it at default. This is a username. You can also set a password. But you could also choose a login automatically, so you could pretty much skip the password phase. But I'd recommend just putting in a password. But I won't. Eh. Never mind, you have to put in a password. There we go. And here we go. This is the um this is like the official install right now, so it's just gonna go through maybe I'd say a half hour, forty five minutes of the Alright, as you can see, the installation is complete, so I will restart now. Or you could continue testing so you could play around with uh, Mint a little bit. But I am going to decide not to do that because I want to install this. Alright, um, basically what this means, um, if, you're on, if you're actually installing this through a CD or a flash drive, you'll have to remove that media before um, re restarting. But since I'm on a virtual machine, I'll have to get out of this. Uh, where did I put that? Oh, probably in here. Remove that. There we go. Get back into my virtual machine and press enter. All right, so enter your username, password, hear that lovely sound. And here we go. This is pretty much the uh, Linux Mint Mate, yeah, there we go, Mate 64-bit version of um, desktop. Now I'm just going to install Cinnamon really quick and show you what that desktop layout looks like. Alright, kind of got sidetracked, but I finally got Cinnamon installed. Now you may notice this looks almost exactly like Mate, but there is a core difference. That is that Mate is based off of Genome 2, which um, Genome is pretty much the graphical user interface that's used by th this operating system. Well, Linux operating systems in general, but yeah, um, Mate is based off of 2, and Cinnamon is based off of 3. Now, um, the reason that they did this was um, when Genome 3 came out, a lot of people weren't very happy with how it looked and how everything was organized. So um, with Mate, the developers were like, hey, we're just going to stick with uh, Genome 2. And developers of Cinnamon said, okay, we're going to base it off of Genome 3, but um, 
you may notice that they look almost exactly alike. That is because the developers of Cinnamon were smart enough to actually um, make their GUI look exactly like Genome 2. So one of the more um, obvious examples, but if you go down to this menu here, say if I were on Mate, this would look slightly different. But, I mean, that's pretty much the only, well, so far, that's the only real difference I've seen so far. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to like it, subscribe, and I'll